So you may be wondering what you will learn in this tutorial series. Some of the topics that will be covered in the 19 chapters and 185 lessons are the overall workflow of producing an animation in Maya, as well as the fundamentals of many aspects of Maya. Many people take the time to learn Maya, but do not understand the overall workflow of 3D animation production. In order to make it a cost-effective process, it's important to understand how to quickly move through the various stages of animation production. It's also important to understand how the different components of Maya fit within the overall framework of 3D animation production. We'll cover some of the common workflow techniques, starting with how to navigate and customize the user interface. Becoming proficient at working within the Maya interface can not only save time, it can increase your productivity and creativity at the same time. To many, scene management is an afterthought of production. Object naming, file location are things that must be considered prior to beginning any 3D production. This aspect of production is considered so important by many companies that there are people designated with specific tasks of managing not only the files used for production, but they are also tasked to develop standards and procedures for artists working on each production. Understanding the major concepts of how to model in Maya will greatly increase what you can achieve in the program. One very important point that I'd like to stress is that you have to work efficiently. For instance, if you're bringing in a file from an outside program, there's a good chance that a lot of information will come into the scene that you do not need for the animation or the image that you're producing. That extra information is just a waste of time and computer resources. So you need to be efficient and flexible in modeling, no matter which program you use. Applying materials and lights in many ways is what makes or breaks your final image. This is where developing your skills can really contribute to the visual quality of your final production. It is entirely possible that you can take a poorly made 3D model and make it look fantastic just by adding well-created materials and properly set up lighting. On the other hand, you can take a meticulously crafted model and make it look fairly bad fairly easily. So we're going to go through an overview of how to apply materials, how to create lights, and how that fits into the production process. Does your production include animation? If it does, it's important to realize that animation can be very difficult and time-consuming to create properly. So in these lessons, you'll learn how to animate effectively using the most efficient methods. We'll discuss this, and we'll look at the process of animating a camera and animating objects in the scene. One of the biggest issues within 3D animation production is long render times. Long render times are not cost-effective in any production unless the client is willing to pay for long render times. However, those clients are few and far between. So it's important to be able to minimize your render times. We're going to take a look at several options dealing with modeling, materials, lighting, and compositing that will go a long way to reducing render times. While games and other real-time uses of Maya don't require rendering image files to a hard drive, Traditional animation techniques require rendered images to be saved in one of many formats. For traditional animation, it's important to understand the fundamentals of file types and resolution and how they relate to rendering for still images and for print. Animation of complex structures and characters can be greatly simplified with the use of IK or inverse kinematics. We'll examine the fundamentals of how IK can be used as the basis for rigging characters and movable structures. One of the broadest categories in Maya is effects and dynamics. In the last 20 years, the level of quality of special effects in both film and television have come a long way. The features available in Maya, such as particles, dynamic physics effects, realistic hair and fur, have been a part of that evolution. Next generation special effects will not only come from these, but from new features like the Maya nucleus cloth and particle system.